Right now, millennials are on pace for being the most obese generation of all time, and one of the main culprits seems to be sneaky forms of sugar creeping up in your diet. Right now, childhood obesity is three times as high as it's ever been before, and with one of every five kids in the U.S. becoming a victim. Sugar is everywhere, and in 80% of your food. It's in your fruit, it's in your soft drinks, it can be added to meat, and it's even in your blood. But now it's not just sugar we're worried about, it's evolved into what's known as high fructose corn syrup, which has been seriously linked to diabetes and weight gain. And should we really be consuming more sugar during our workouts in the form of Gatorade? Here are things that happen when you quit eating sugar. But first, quick shout out goes to those of you who watched our Strangest Laws in the UK video. We didn't know they call Ding Dong Ditch knockout ginger in the UK. It's interesting to hear some expressions that are different from your English and American English. Oh yeah, and before we get started, make sure you smash that like button, hammer that subscribe button, and ring the bell for our new uploads. Number 13. Figuring out what has sugar. The first thing that's going to have to happen if you give up sugar is trying to determine what doesn't have sugar in it and it might be a lot more difficult than you'd even imagine. Sugar is a cheap way for companies to create more food and add less real, more expensive ingredients while still tasting good, of course. Corn syrup is found in many different items such as canned fruit, salad dressing, granola bars, or bread, which seem to be healthy. It wouldn't need added sugar such as high fructose corn syrup, but it still does. Other foods you should also pay close attention to include barbecue sauce, ketchup, salad dressing, peanut butter, and even fruit juice. You should basically pay attention to all your food and read all the ingredient labels. You can barely avoid this stuff even when you're working out because it's in your sports drinks too. Sugar is often given different names just to confuse you. Things such as evaporated cane juice, dextrose, agave nectar, cane crystals, and the list goes on. At one point, sugar was just used in coffee and tea and is now in virtually every processed food consumed. Number 12. Sugar Withdrawal While it's not going to be pretty at first and you may experience some withdrawal symptoms, eating sugar releases dopamine similar to other addictive substances and when this happy hormone isn't present, it'll start to induce cravings, headaches, and mood swings. Your body will make adjustments after it becomes used to something that you've consumed on a daily basis. When the chemical isn't there, it might start to feel like something is wrong. Many people are not likely to compare sugar consumption with substance abuse, but it can affect your mind in a similar way. We know this by looking at sugar withdrawal symptoms, however, the side effect you'll be most happy about is the weight loss. Don't forget about the overall health benefits that will make your life much better in the future. Number 11. The Cravings Go On while taking the drastic step of removing a majority of added sugars from your diet, this will lead to cravings. There are certain things though that you can do to try and make it easier for yourself. One of the best options if you drink a lot of soda would be trying to switch to carbonated water with natural flavoring, such as buble. Drinking a lot of water during this time will help flush out some remaining sugar in your system and help rehydrate you. This is also a great time to introduce yourself to some sources of protein into your diet from things such as tuna, eggs, chicken, nuts, and so on. Be sure to check the labels since even meat can now be pumped full with added sugar that you're trying to avoid. The increase in protein should reduce the release of the hunger hormones. During an experiment on YouTube, cravings tend to gradually go away after about a week and people didn't feel the urge to eat quite as much throughout the day. Number 10. Reduced Inflammation while sugar might not only make you larger, it can also make your skin less attractive as well. Acne is no longer a problem among teenagers, and more and more people in their 20s are suffering from adult acne, which can be much more severe. More than 10% of men over the age of 25 experience adult acne, and part of that could be from the fact that sugar isn't almost everything. Consuming more high glycemic foods throughout your life can cause your insulin levels to spike, which can result in inflammation not only in your skin, but in many parts of your body. As sugar is processed through the body, it can break down collagen and produce more oils in your skin, leaving it vulnerable to bacterial infections, so watch out. Number 9. Increased Energy Believe it or not, too much sugar will not give you increased energy for a long period of time and can actually have the opposite effect. Dehydration caused by sugar intake is certainly something you don't want to mess with. When water is absent from our body, it may cause people to be sluggish or even weak. More signs of dehydration include fatigue, headaches, dizziness, lightheadedness, and dark urine. Since sugar can decrease your productivity throughout your entire body, it may also reduce the symptoms of hydration. It's safe to say that eating too much sugar can also leave you in a bad mood, but also make you less productive. Instead of taking a big nap in the afternoon to re-energize you, try to take a big glass of water to perk you up a little bit and avoid the soda. 
In fact, you could theoretically get a hangover feeling from drinking too much sugar, the same as if you drank too much alcohol. Don't forget that too much sugar might not help you get rid of that Sunday morning headache if you've been out all night. Number 8. Less Cavities Dentists weren't just messing around by telling you to avoid sugar by any means. A lot of cavities can simply be avoided by drinking less sugary drinks. It would also be ideal to avoid other simple carbohydrates such as white bread. That means if you're also a fan of the Wonder Bread, you might want to think twice about buying a loaf. It's one of those sneaky foods you gotta watch out for. While most breads contain sugars, white bread contains the most sugars, which will mean that'll likely stick to your teeth after you finish eating it. You ever remember taking a big bite of a PBJ and Wonder Bread sandwich and getting stuck to the roof of your mouth? It does that to your teeth as well, which gives you a higher probability of not only getting diabetes, but also tooth decay. Number 7. Happier Although it might be extremely satisfying to scarf down a Cinnabon at the time you're eating it, consuming higher quantities of sugar may lead to depression and anxiety. During a recent study that lasted for a five-year period with over 23,000 people, it showed that men who consumed higher amounts of sugar were more often likely to have mood disorders. It seems to make sense though in any case, and people will often reach for sugary foods in order to make them feel some sort of euphoria that only sugar can bring. But once the sugar rush is over, it'll just make them more unhappy once they take a look at the mirror and step on the scale. It might get to the point where more and more sugar is needed to reach the same dopamine rush until you got diabetes and it's too late. Number 6. Better Breath We all know that there are some healthy foods out there that might cause bad breath like garlic, fish, and coffee. That bad breath is a little bit different though. High sugar intake can result in a condition known as halitosis, and while healthy food can cause bad breath, it can be brushed away too. This kind of bad breath can't. Just imagine your breath after you eat a tuna sandwich and there's just not a single mint or brand of toothpaste out there that can help you. Bacterias that cause halitosis are fueled by sugars, so the less sugar in your mouth, the less likely they'll be able to live there. One of the more serious causes of bad breath is diabetes and liver disease. But on the flip note, ketogenic diets are also known to do the same thing, so of course some sugar from natural resources like fruit are still encouraged. Number 5. Reduce Alzheimer's Risk a scary link between Alzheimer's disease and sugar intake has been revealed recently, and this could explain the surprising increase in the diagnosis. Alzheimer's is expected to continue getting worse and even become an epidemic in Asian countries in the future. So could there be a correlation with the increase of our sugar intake and this form of dementia? The study was concluded after a 10-year period and 5,189 participants that had high blood sugar was linked with cognitive decline. It's almost like sugar was not only rotting people's teeth, but also their minds. So don't say we didn't warn you. Number 4. Better Sleep Sugar can seriously wreck a good night's sleep, and some of you might know this already, but continue to eat large amounts of it. A lack of sleep is known to be correlated with high blood sugar, and this was typically the case during sleep studies conducted by Boston University School of Medicine. If someone only got 6 hours or less of sleep at night, it was common that their blood sugar was high. This was opposed to those who got 8 or more hours of sleep. Sleep is also necessary for proper weight loss and increased testosterone in men. Number 3. Lose Weight Quicker Most of the time when you eat something healthy, it has calories in it, but in addition to those calories, you're getting some nutritional value to even it out. Sugar on the other hand has a lot of calories, but totally lacks any vitamins or any value whatsoever. Not only that, but sugar can elevate your insulin and leptin resistance, which are linked to weight gain. Food advertisements might tell you something is low in fat, but in order to make up for that, they turn a chock full of sugar, which will leave you feeling less full. Things like high fructose corn syrup will also make you feel more hungry by promoting the production of hunger hormones. People often report weight loss only after a few weeks by cutting back on the sugar. Number 2. Immune System Improves Not only can sugar decrease the amount of sleep you get, which helps your immune system, it can also affect the way your body deals with infections. Too much sugar and carbs in general can force inflammation, which keeps your body's white blood cells busy with stuff they don't want to focus on. Our white blood cells are responsible for fighting off bad bacteria that makes us sick. The biology that goes into it is fairly complicated, but you should notice a boost in your immune system if you stop eating sugar. And number 1. Diabetes In case you didn't think that sugar is really causing a bunch of problems, just take a quick look at how many people are diabetic. More than 100 million Americans are living with diabetes or pre-diabetes, according to a new report by the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention. That's a whopping one-third of our country's population and something must be done soon. A lot of people might not even know they have this condition and even more people will get it once they get older. 
it was previously thought to be a fairly rare disease that mainly old people got. But as soon as sugar began sneaking its way into our food more often, it would be inevitable that those numbers would rise. So what'd you guys think of that video? Be sure to hit like, comment, and subscribe, and check out some more of our videos. We got hundreds of them.